In this video, we'll explain how to properly stack the new ultra-fresh front load washer and matching dryers from GE Appliances. To complete this task, you will need a Phillips screwdriver, a pair of pliers, protective gloves, an open-ended wrench, a level, and the appropriate stack kit. The stack kit we'll be using in this example is GFA28KITN. Notice that it comes with two different sets of brackets, one set for a 32-inch depth washing machine and another set for a 34-inch depth washing machine. Keep in mind, you can only stack a dryer on top of a washer. Do not stack a washer on top of a dryer or onto another washer. First, carefully lay the dryer on its back or side. Then remove the leveling legs using the wrench. Next, place a spacer on the left side of the dryer. Insert the spacer pegs into the leveling leg holes, ensuring that the arrows are pointing out. Then attach the spacer using two screws. Repeat for the right side spacer with the arrows pointing to the outside edge. Make sure you are using the appropriate bracket based on the measured depth of your washer. The 34-inch bracket will lie flat on the back of the washer, while the 32-inch bracket is formed to fit the shape of the top panel of the washer. After selecting the correct bracket, align it with the screw hole so it does not extend past the side of the washer. If done properly, the bracket will be flush to the washer's edge. Now secure the bracket to the washer using four of the provided screws for each bracket. Then repeat on the opposite side. Make sure your washer is near its final installation location. Check to see if the washer is sitting level. If it is not, adjust the legs accordingly. Now with the help of another person, lift your dryer into the upright position, clearing the top of the washer and gently place it on top. Next, adjust the dryer so that the holes in the washer bracket align with the holes in the back of the dryer. Then secure the dryer using two of the provided screws on each side. Your units are now ready for final installation. Carefully move the units into their final location and check one more time that they're level. For more information about our products, visit geappliances.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates and more.